back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well if this is the first time you're coming on my channel welcome welcome i hope you stay don't forget to subscribe like comment let's just interact and have fun here is a beauty channel so let's just talk about beauty and let's just have fun so i hope you guys like the setup at the back and i'm so excited this is the first time i'm actually using the camera to film a beauty video so i'm excited let me just like moisturize my lips before i start and um today i don't really know what i'm going for but i want something nice something something nice <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go um i'll be using my nokari how about lip hydrating butter this one is in um wild berries i'm gonna twist the bottom it looks like this it has a yellow um it just looks yellow basically yeah it smells nice okay so now that our lips are moisturized i'm going to use the anastasia brow gel to set my eyebrows already moisturized i've used a, an spf on my skin so i'm going to prime my skin i'll be using the Too faced primer so i'm going to do my eyebrows right now if you want to see a detailed eyebrow tutorial i'll leave the link up here so you can click on it to direct you to that video but i'm just going to do it like how i always do it i just start from the front and just follow my brows just light strokes like that and then just fill in the ends of my brows Usually that's why I have a problem because my eyebrows, I don't know if they don't grow there or something. The brows are there, I can see it, but, <laughs> but, the issue is that the hairs are not a lot at the end. I don't know what is going on with my brows. I don't know what is going on. Yeah, so just like that, I'm going to do the same thing here. So I literally like trimmed my eyebrows like days ago. And I feel like they don't even look like I just trimmed it. The lady that does it for me, she's really good because um she's good. Like she's okay. <laughs> no, she's actually really good. Um she keeps my brow as thick as I want them, but then my eyebrows are stubborn so it doesn't lie down it doesn't lie down and um it's hard it's all over the place hence the reason why i perm my eyebrows but if i don't perm them and i just keep it like that it's just like all over the place i'm just going to conceal under my eyebrows yeah i i, I even missed what i was saying the issue with the lady is that she she's able to trim my eyebrows without not taking off everything but then it doesn't look like i've trimmed my eyebrows it looks like i've just done some light like trimming but then i've really trimmed it and i don't know what to do about that and i feel bad when i go there and then i don't want her to do my eyebrows it's like she'll be looking at my face like um, should I come and do it for you? I actually want her to do it, but I also don't want her to do it. Sometimes I want my eyebrows to stand out. I want it to look like I've trimmed it. Do you get it? So I think I would have to go back there and then get the other lady. There are two ladies that I allow to do my eyebrows. And if you're wondering, I do my eyebrows at Stenums. I used to do it myself. I've just been lazy lately and the other lady she's really good but um she, she trims my eyebrow too much 
so right now what do i do like whenever she trains my eyebrow i can tell that i've done my eyebrows so i don't know what to do but yeah anyway let's move on so now i'm going to prime my eyelids um it's been a while since i did that i just use concealer over my eyes and then i just go but today i'm going to prime my eyelids i'm using the morphe eyeshadow primer i'm going to set all over my eyelid with the laura mercier um, setting powder in medium deep It feels foreign to me doing this um, without putting concealer all on my eyes, but um, I just want to see how that turns out. Yeah, so yeah. What's going on, loves? So I'm going to do my eyes now. For today's eyeshadow, I'll be using the Mood Beauty palettes. This one is the what's it called? The eyeshadow is really nice, but then the the pants come off easily. Right now, if I should do this, everything will just fall off, and um, it fell, and the mirror broke. And I don't want the particles to fall on the eyeshadow, so I've taped it. So, um, yeah. I really like the eyeshadow palettes, but the packaging, um, they need to work on the packaging. It's, it falls off easy. I even want to get a Z palette and just take them out and put them inside. Yeah. The colors are really pretty. This is Arusha palette. I'm going to take Bonica as an orange color. And now I'm going to take Mocha and I'm putting that in my crease. So now that I've done that, What's going on with the lightning? I need to figure this thing out. Jabari, that's the darkest brown in the palette. I really like the gradient that this has given me. And now I'm going to go back in with a concealer. I want to do you whatever you want freaky freaky for you have you guys been watching big brother big brother africa the niger one big brother niger not big brother africa or oh, it's big brother africa i don't even know but big brother niger i love it i love it i love kafi i love Messi. i really like Ike, no, yeah, I like Ike, he's crazy, but then I really like Mike. I meant Mike, I don't like Ford, he's annoying. <laughs> um, I like Omoshala, Omashala, yeah, I think he's cool. I really like Kathy, I like her energy, she's, she's very positive. Um, um, she always, she's always dancing, laughing. Um, but I'm so sad she was evicted last week. And I like Messi. Um, who else? Uh, Dan is okay. Cindy, I like Cindy, but I don't want her to win. Tacha, 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 Tacha. Hmm. Tacha, I don't know how I feel about Tacha. Um, I think it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think of it. She can be rude, granted, but um, I don't know. Um, maybe that's just who she is. Cause clearly she's been like that since day one. She's even better now. So 
what should we use should we do all mats or you see how dark this thing has gotten i don't even know anyway i'm going to put shalala this one is very nice i'm going to put that in the front I want to do you Whenever I sang this song, I just remember Kafi and her energy and the way she sings, there was so much joy I want to do you Whatever you want Freaky freaky for you This life should it, it should better come back Come back baby Come back It's getting very dark kind of life to crisis i'm not going to edit this out just so you guys see like what we go through so i put that in the front i want to put a different eyeshadow i'm going to put my label it's like a i don't like a bent red or something I'm going back in with my blending brush, not taking anything but just blending. Just blending the ends just so there isn't any harsh line. And now I'm going to take Mystic, it's, it's quite bright. I just want to put that in the very beginning of the eyeshadow just to brighten the out a bit i'm just tapping 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 i'm going to take jabari the dark shade again and just smoke the ends out a bit more i'm going to line my eyes i'll be using the soul aesthetics liner now i'm going to put on my lashes i'm using this lash from a Nigerian brand it's called Ryan John I think um, I got this from the masterclass with Mali Magic for my foundation today I'll be using this one I'll be using the NAS foundation um, this foundation is in the shade Namibia I got this from Urban 101 on instagram i always use the shade caledonia new caledonia but i'm going to try this Let me just shake it first yeah, let me not take it out. so this is how it looks it looks okay i'm hoping i'm just going to put that on my face so you see how it looks it doesn't look I think it's okay I'm going to take my Evita flat brush taking my Ole mist which I got from everything beauty GH on my face It's a little bit dark, but yeah, it's a little dark. <laughs> I actually wanted it because I already have the new Caledonia, but I think I might be in between the new Caledonia and um, what you call it. Maybe I'll use Iguazu or something. I don't even know the names, but the one before Namibia. And the one after new caledonia 
maybe that might be my perfect shade because I feel like the new Caledonia is a little bit light. This one here is a little bit light. But, but it looks really nice. Like, I like how it looks. I'm being tempted to mix it, but I don't want to mix it. Because, as you can clearly see, like, it's darker than my chest, you see. It's making my face dark, but then I will highlight anyway. I'm sure I'll mix it with um, the new Caledonia and then see how that looks. But I want to use it on its own today and just highlight and see how that will look. I'll be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I love this concealer. The applicator is really big. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then... So this is the XOXO Rosé Sponge. I'm going to tap a little bit of the concealer on my at the back of my hand. And then take the product just so I don't take off the product from my face so now I'm going to just blend this under my eyes I'm going to contour with Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette I'm using the darkest shade in here girl you just to blow mine blow my mind blow my mind please can someone come and get me I don't know why this song is ringing in my head like that. Seriously. I'll be using my Laura Mercier powder. When I tap it in, then I take off the excess and I pat it at the back of my hand just so I don't apply too much. Yeah, I think the concealer has balanced out the foundation, which I love. I'm going to take my Evita Joseph powder brush and then take a little, just a little bit of the Laura Mercier and just set the rest of my face. This one here and this brown. And I'm going to put that under my eyes. This feels so good until it goes into your eyes. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my mascara. I'm using the Maybelline. Yeah, so that's how the brush looks like. I'm using that for my bottom lashes. I'm going to set my entire face. It smells so good. Huh. This Ole Mist is really good. You should get it. Um, everything Beauty GH. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I'm going to highlight. I'll be using my Evita Joseph highlighter. Yeah, so I'm using my Evita Joseph highlighter in Avilio or Evilio. So I'm going to be using this Tara blush with my Evita X Annette brush. So I'll be doing these two shades, this one and this one here. Now I'm going to line my lip with um, a brown liner in Cappuccino by LA Girl. So I'm going in with this red lipstick I got from Kitoko. Um, the owner is from Congo. It's called Kitoko. Kitoko. Uh, but I don't know where these are manufactured. 
and this is in the shade FS44 I don't know if it dries mud no I think it dries mud see it's drying mud it's drying down mud um this is the final look Let me show you something. This top from shop at Winsky's. Um, it says she is strong. Proverbs 31 verse 25. I love this. You should check out what Proverbs 31 verse 25 says. Um, every woman needs that in their life. So it says she is strong. I am strong. You are strong. So read the Bible. Check out this verse and let it sink in i don't want to say it i want you to check it out and comment down below what the verse says i hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and i will see you in my next video make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you receive notifications as soon as i upload on here thank you so much i'll see you later bye